bows can be a struggle, right? And I don't want you to struggle. I want you to have fun crafting. And so the more ways I can show you to make bows, the better off you're going to be. So I'm going to use some two and a half inch wide wired ribbon. It needs to be wired, right? So that I can make a really simple bow and I'm going to cut off a piece about, let's say 24 inches long to start with, maybe a bit longer. Let's go 26, 28. It's, it's a judgment call. Okay. So we've got one piece like that. Just put that to the side for now. That's just leave it over there, right? Nothing to see here for us. So now again, super simple, right? I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to roll this over like this, just like a circle. Okay. So you can see it's like a, it's a circle, right? So it's no better way to put it. It's a circle. All right. So we, we get ourselves a circle and we flip it like this, right? Now you can, at this point, you don't have to, grab a clothespin and use it as a clamp, right? I do this all the time. I find it much easier. And I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna fold it back and forth. So I'm gonna fold it, it's probably easier if I show you this way, behind, right, the circle and the same on the other side. So when you flip it up, you can see, you want them to be about the same distance, right? Um, technically, so. There we go. So I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, right? So just flatten that out so you can see, everything's flat, it doesn't matter, right? I'm gonna take my ribbon, now this can only work with double-sided ribbon, which is the ribbon's the same on both sides and wired. Do the same and make it a little bigger, right? Can you see that? So I want them to both be about the same size. And I'm going to do it one more time. And you may have seen this before, and I call it a taffy bow. And I don't know why. Somebody called it that once, and that just became its name. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for the third time. And I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to go back to the middle right, and cut it off. So just past the middle, I'm going to cut it off like that. So you have your circle, one, two, three different layers, basically, right? And then your long piece here, okay? So out of the way. Now I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. I like pipe cleaners or wire for the reason that I can, when I'm done, I can use this as a, a way to hang things up, right? So I'm going to take that and I'm going to slide it through that circle, just like that. And I'm going to trap that end with the pipe cleaner. So it's holding it down. Could squish these together if you like. And then I'm going to pull this around to the back. See that? And I'm going to twist. So you can see how it's trapped everything in there, right? And it's trapped that piece on the back, like that last bit. It's all trapped, right? So nothing's, I can pull that out now. I don't need that anymore. So now you have this kind of look, all right? Which is cute. And I'm going to take that piece that I cut earlier. These are going to be the tails. Okay, I'm going to just find the middle, flip it over, and twist that on there too. Okay, that just gives you, it makes it, that's the easiest way to do tails. Okay, um, so we're just going to straighten those out a little bit. So now you have push the ribbon or the wire to the back. You really don't need that, but you can use this to hang it on a tree or hang it on a table or whatever, or you can cut it off later, okay? But for now, what I want you to do is take these long pieces, the back ones, and pull them down like that. Like that. So back ones down, okay? I want you to pull the middle ones up a bit and leave these ones here, the front ones in the front. Okay, see? See the shape we're getting? Okay, so now 
because we use wired ribbon, we can shape those little, we can shape those little, um, what do you call the thing that's part of the ribbon? We can shape it anyway. I don't know what the name of it is, right? We have the middle one there. So we have the shortest ones in the front, the middle and the two short ones in the front. The second shortest ones go up towards the top and the longest ones get pulled down towards the bottom. And you can play around with these and get them just the way you want them. Puff them up as much as you want. This is the part that takes the longest and this is probably where people think that they're going wrong when they're not. This takes time, right? You have to be patient and you have to understand you're gonna be playing with this thing for a few minutes to get it to look like you want. Kind of looks like a butterfly with the, with the uh, antennas. Let's call this a butterfly bow, right? Because it does kind of look like a butterfly. And then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna trim them down. And dovetail the ends just to make it pretty. You can do whatever you like, angle, dovetail. You do you. And voila, you have a butterfly bow. That's what we're gonna call it, right? It's pretty easy, it's hand tied. It doesn't take a whole lot of work. Um, I need to play around with this a bit longer, right? But you get the idea. It looks a bit like a butterfly. It has the longer tails, right? And it has huh, the antennas in the back. But that I use to hang things. I can just open this up and tie it to a tree or tie it to a chair or tie it to whatever, a package. Um, you can trim these down and make them shorter, but I just want you to see. That's why I use the blue, so you could see it compared to the bow. All right, so there we go, a butterfly bow. So you start with the ribbon taffy type bow, and then you turn it into a butterfly bow. Uh, and I need to sit and play with this for a few minutes, but that's just, that's just how easy it can be.